morning friends hope you all are doing very good today i am ready with again a new video that is about how to write a research article and uh, we are going to discuss in detail that how we can write research article and what are the steps we need to follow and then we'll see that what should be the format of research article so i start with uh, the research process first and then i will show you that what are uh, what is the research paper format so it's a very simple that whenever we start researching on any topic or any idea or anything we uh, means think that okay i need to write a paper on this so the first process is start with our research idea because unless or until we have an idea we cannot start the search because with that idea there are so many things related to that so in order to that uh, get in, in order to write the article we need to get first idea you need to be clear about the idea i mean to say that you need to select the title and then you can start your research work so in that process first you have to get the research idea and that comes with your topic first you choose the topic and start narrowing the topic for example let me give you an example suppose library science if i say library science library science is a very very broader term but if i narrow my this library science for example classification uh, or the automation or cataloging then i get different idea for example if i, if I go to library automation so i will have inside the library automation i will have different fields for example uh, if i take suppose i am taking the library automation so i i may have one idea that what are the different um, uh, means uh, automation software available in the market whether it is commercial or open source then i can do the comparative study so this this can be my one idea or the second option can be that uh, role of the metadata in arranging the bibliographic bibliographic data with the help of any library automation software so i mean to say that whenever you are selecting any idea you need to be very clear first about the idea and then you have to start the process of research work so in in order to start with the research process first you have to think about the research idea and you have to go in narrowing the research idea then only you will get the fruitful result or you will come to your point what you want to write in your paper the second process start with the literature review this is most important part in research process why because here we decide what are the things have means already have been researched on this particular idea and what i have to uh, research on this particular idea which i have chosen so this literature review is very very important in important in research process so for this particular literature review there are so many methods you can follow for this uh, means doing the literature review after this i will be taking uh, means another video uh, about the literature review and uh, what are the things to cover in the literature review the meaning of literature review is very simple that there are different sources which you have to just browse or you have to go like for example if i choose any topic i may have there are many uh, resources there are online resources there are offline resources there are research articles already published on that so we need to browse related to my idea related to your idea then you will get the exact situation of that particular idea what the research has already been done by the previous researcher and what is the research gap i mean to say that today what is the scenario and what was the, the previous uh, researcher have done so in that case you will find the exact situation with the help of literature review and these literature review will help you to process your research in easy way so about this i will be discussing in detail uh, that what are the things to be taken care in literature review uh, moving to the next point that is the research problem that i was talking about research problem is that suppose you have chosen the idea after choosing the idea what is the actually problem in uh, uh, and you have to find that means why you are doing the research because there may be there may be issue where there is no need to write anything things are very clear but you can write the simple paper you don't have to do any research but when you come to the problem you will have to find that problem and also you need to suggest some suggestion 
Let me give you one example. For example, there are uh, um, many library automation software, there are many digital library software, there are many content management software, there are, there are uh, different metadata standards, metadata harvesting mechanism. So I mean to say that if I come to problem, then I will think that, okay, why should I choose this software? Why should I not choose this software? So how will I get the problem? How will I come to know that I should choose this? Why should I not go with that software? So if I do the comparative study, compared, uh, comparative study, so I will get the exact situation of the uh, problem. Okay, if I go ahead with this, I will be having these problems because I will follow so many steps in that. The same, similarly, I will also find the comparative study, I will do the comparative study and I will find the different options and in that I will get the exact problem. So I mean to say that when we do the literature review, we come across the different problems also and that helps to formulate the research question. Based on our problem, we find the research question. There are different mechanisms to just generate the research question and uh, we just uh, create the research question or you can say in other word the questionnaire there are different uh, type of questionnaire which we have to create based on our idea literature review and research problem and then we start with the data collection we circulate this research question there are uh, many ways to circulate one way can be that you can circulate online one way be one way uh, can be that you can give offline, you can go and circulate. So what will happen that this data collection will uh, be totally based on your research question. So when you start the data collection, you have to collect through different method. You can target your uh, stake means different stakeholders. You have to suppose, uh, let me take uh, situation of the library automation. Suppose this is my topic. So definitely my stakeholder or my target will be the libraries. So I will be sending to the different libraries this question that to collect my data and further I will start my research work. So what will happen that this will give me an opportunity to analyze the data. Whatever the data I collect, I will have an opportunity to analyze and I will get after analysis I will get the some result or you can say I will come to some point that yes uh, why did I start why did I start my research and uh, what is the research gap then what is the actual situation today and based on this we can come to the conclusion where we have to write the suggestion I mean to say that the previous researchers have done this work and today we are in the present situation we need this uh, uh, item or you can suggest based on your analysis of the data. So this is the research process when we start with the writing of any research paper or research article scholarly publication we have to follow this process. But this is very important which I will be covering in the next video. And the question is that what should be the format of research form uh, paper? It is very simple. You have to first, as I said that, you have to first formulate your research idea by means by selecting your uh, uh, means research topic and then further narrowing your topic. Then you just conclude means start with the abstract. Abstract is the gist of your research paper means. What is the objective of your research, how, what methodology you are following or you will follow and what will be your outcome and what are the challenges you found during. So it means in a very short you have to give in the abstract that what is your objective, what are the hypotheses you have uh, adopted in order to write the research paper. Then you, you can start with the introduction about your research paper. Uh, when you formulate the research idea, you will have clear idea that what is your topic and based on that you can write the introduction. This is the third part. And the fourth, you have to describe what methodology you have followed. Whether you have followed the questionnaire, whether you have uh, uh, um, followed any other method. There are different methods to collect the data. So that we will discuss in the next video. 
and then when you collect the data, I mean to say data, and you analyze it further, so you get result. I mean you get an opportunity to interpret this uh, data by analyzing and you get the result. And based on this, you start discussion, means that will give you the opportunity to find the research gap. And based on the research gap, you will get uh, an idea to give the conclusion. So this is the format of writing the research paper and at last if it is required you can add the appendix where you can give which you cannot accommodate in between this format you can give the appendix and at last you can acknowledge to those people who have helped you in writing the research paper. So this is all about how to write a research article or research paper you can say scholarly publication. In next video we will see that what are the steps to be follow, followed or what are the things to be covered in literature review. So I hope this video will help you to write a research paper with ease. If you find any problem or any uh, doubt or any clarification, feel free, feel free to write me at librarianguide at gmail.com. Thanks for watching this video. Many more in next video. Have a nice day.